This is a video guide to creating a homemade GPDL device that will allow you to accurately measure the latency of your gamepad at home. A separate program will calculate the minimum, average and maximum latency, which will be presented in the form of a graph on the website. To get started, I will need an Arduino. Personally, I like the Type-C version. You need to connect it to your computer and open the Arduino IDE program. In this program, you need to copy the Arduino code from the repository, the link to which is in the description below the video. After you do this, make sure that your Arduino IDE is properly configured. First, select the port and name of your device. Secondly, in the Tools Processor section, select the correct bootloader. Then click the Upload button and wait to the done uploading message to appear. Now you will need a cable to solder to ports D2 and D3. The next optional step is to print the case. If you have access to 3D printer, you can find a link to the STL file in the description below the video. Now we just need to put the board in the case and fix it with a lid. The device is almost ready. Now it's time to clean the contacts for the button. And that's it. The GPDL device for measuring latency is ready to use. Now let's test the delay of the Xbox Series controller. First of all, you need to disassemble it completely. There are many videos on YouTube about how to do this, but in general there is nothing complicated here. The main thing is that you have a set of good screwdrivers. Personally, I've been using iFixit. The main difficulty in disassembling the Xbox controller is this sticker that needs to be torn or peeled off. All other screws are unscrewed without any problems. And then the case comes off by itself. First of all, disconnect the antennas and unscrew two more screws with a smaller screwdriver. Then it's enough to flip over the internal board. And voila, we have access to the button. To connect the contacts to it, I will need this kind of gel tape and an additional pair of thin wires. They should be connected on both sides to the contact button. And fix them with a gel tape for reliability. I will leave a link to this tape in the description below the video. Make sure that the contacts don't short circuit each other's tracks. And only now we can reassemble the case. Of course, all gamepads are unique and the algorithms for action can also be different. So there is a space for improvisation. Next I pull out the contacts through the battery box, put everything back together and put the batteries in. Now turn on the gamepad and go to the gamepad tester website. If the gamepad buttons are pressed when the wires are connected, then you did everything right. Now connect the GPDL test to the computer and connect our wires. You can even do it without a soldering iron. Next, launch the Gamepad Low Latency Tester program and select our gamepad in the list of devices. Now specify the port to which the Arduino is connected and choose the type of gamepad connection via cable, Bluetooth or receiver. Now you need to specify the name of your test or the name of your gamepad so that later, if there are several tests, you don't get anything mixed up. Finally, select the number of repeats or enter your own number. I chose 2000 and the test started. At this moment, the Arduino sends button pressure signals one after another and the program on the computer reads the difference in delay between the send signal and the received one. And to the right of the progress bar, you can see that the average delay is 10 milliseconds. This at least the results that the Xbox Series controller delivers via Bluetooth. At the end of the test, the gamepadla.com page will open with the details of your test results. You can see not only the minimum, average and maximum delay, but also the most frequent timing range of a particular delay. That is, in our case, the controller produces 10 milliseconds much more often than 18. And this is very good. Moreover, each user can send their test results directly to the Gamepadla website. This way, I hope. Our community will soon test all the gamepads in the world. These are at least the results that the Xbox controller receiver beaver deliver. <laughs> receiver beaver. <laughs>